and welcome back to part two. So I still have a few games to show you here, so let's get going. Um, all these games. Actually, just show you this first one here first, which I got before the ones I got on Monday. But you know what I already got on Monday if you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, I don't. I've mentioned before, but if you want to follow me on Twitter, I am Daro M85. So yeah. So that's pretty much that's my Twitter name, so it is. And um, so if you like to follow me, that's my Twitter name. So, but let's get going. Yakuza Three. Um, I was actually maybe thinking of getting this when I got those the other games I showed you there. Um, but the fact is, I've seen it online on a deal. It was twenty four ninety nine, and then I got a little voucher thingy code April two. Meaning that I was got two pound off if, if I spent over twenty pound and therefore I got off for twenty two, um, twenty two ninety five I think it was, and I was just said heck why not that was a great, great deal and um, I got it, um so I did. Thing is I never finished. I played the first. I played the first one. I have the second as well, but I haven't played it. And I played a bit of this one as well, which I like. And I don't know why I haven't played these because. They they have an element of shamu in them, so they do. Like there's certain certain things in shit that have this has, or certain similarities this has with shamu now, and I love shamu to death. It's shamu one and two are some of my favorite games of all time, and I love them to death. I just haven't played them at all. Thus, haven't played through all of them at all, but I should. Um, I played a bit of this though, first few chapters great game nonetheless and all these games now I got on the Monday so I have the, these following games um, so let's get going here Overlord um, I remember I think I rented this out a while back now and I wanted to play I wanted to get it anyway though I just decided to get it now because the fact is I have the second one I just don't have I didn't have the first one though and I think this is a it's a we good enough we game anyway and I might probably put on my try to make it one of into my one of my finished games and um, for this year anyway. So well uh, Sega Superstars Tennis two fifty. I want to try this game out anyway. Two fifty. So there you go. That's pretty much no no problem. And I got this in WH Smith. Metroid Prime Trilogy. Um, I actually traded in Metroid Prime 3 anyway a while back though because I was just trying to trade this in because I was actually thinking of getting it anyway and just might as well get this. Even though I do have the first two still on the GameCube, I just got this anyway. Um, because the Wii Remote sort of works well anyway with it. And it'd be pretty cool to play the first one um, and the second one again with the Wii Remote controls, um, and besides the first game, the first Metroid Prime game is awesome. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite games on the GameCube, so it is a um, brilliant game. And uh, again, it's already been out. It's already out last week there, so it is. Um, I got the limited edition Ultimate Hunter pack, so I did, which includes this game, Monster Hunter 3 Tray. This, which is the classic controller Pro, which looks kind of a, a bit like a PlayStation controller. Um, this figurine, so it is, of Legagris. I don't know how you pronounce it. Legagris, I think that's what it is. One of the, like, I think it's the big sea monster in the game. And over there on the TV is, my, is the Wii Speak, which is well. And that is £60. Um, I feel what you get with it though, I think it's pretty good because the fact is you get the classic controller, you get the game which is pretty much like £40, you get a controller, you get a, the Wii speak and you get a figurine and well, how much would that be separately if you like got that and a controller and a Wii speak um, separately, it'd probably be maybe nearly twice as much perhaps, maybe more, so there you go, that's pretty much a good deal. And I played a couple of I played a chunk of it thus far. 
I really like the game. It is a really fun game though. Um, some people have compared it to Fancy Star Online and I could see the similarities. Um, it's definitely something like that now where you go to a certain like you're in like this kind of hub area where you get these different quests and then you can build up your stats and then you go out to a certain area and then um, you go to like area for like you know go to say a world area then different areas do the certain quests so that's definitely kind of has similarities to you know like fancy star online or fancy star universe it's a it's a good game though and i could see myself playing good a good bit of it though um over the next couple of months near or nair i don't know how you pronounce it now um I didn't even know about this game though um, until I seen, I think it was maybe a video of it though, a few weeks back. And seen the video of it showed you gameplay and I said, it looks interesting though, it looks like a cool sort of action game though. Um, it looked kind of like a bit like the long lines of, you know, Devil May Cry, Bayonetta and Ninja Gaiden or something like that. And it actually is not that at all though, it's more, it's, it plays based pretty much an act, like an action RPG, so it is. Um, I played like a playing this at the moment though, so yeah, I'm, I want to try to play because I want to review it for Gamer Euphoria, um, so I do. And there's four first couple of hours. Um, it's not a bad game. It's it's just something different to what I was expecting. Although it does have its certain flaws though, um, like the graphics. Um, I think a lot of people said it's not the, it's not a brilliant it's not a really great looking game though. Um, certain other things though, but I'll probably maybe talk more about them when I do a review for it at the end of the day. Um, Blaze Blue Limited Edition, which comes with a uh, art book and a DVD showing you like to strategy, like showing you how strategies for the characters and things like that now. Um, I want to get this for a while though, uh, mainly because the fact is a lot of people really like this game. I think it's a brilliant fighting game though, and I played a bit of it though. I played like about a couple of hours of it. I can see why people like it. It's just very fun to play though. It's not. Uh, it's it does has uh, its playability factor to me. Same way as say Marvel vs. Capcom or. Tsunoku vs Capcom, those kind of games though. It's not like hard to pull off like you know finishing maneuvers or whatnot, but the real meat of the game is trying to defend and counter and pull off like good number hit combos, like ten hit combos, twenty hit combos or whatever. That's basically the real meat of the game now. And um but it's fun to play even if you're a new beginner or if you if you're not that great into fighting games though. But it's a good game nonetheless, I really like it. And finally, the last game I got in that spending spree pretty much was Splinter Shell Confection, which I got for £25, considering the fact is that it was only out a week. So, I'm playing this at the moment as well, though. Good game, as I said. I mentioned it earlier, though, about it, that playing this so, so streamlined it is compared to Double Age, that it's going to be hard to go back to Double Age and play it after playing something that's enjoyable to play as this. Um, so it is. And um, I got this today. Um, my brother's getting me this, so I paid for it though, but he'd be giving me the money later, I presume. Um, 2010 FIFA World Cup, South Africa. Um, I played the demo, I just wanted to try a football game, and a lot of people will probably be playing this when the World Cup's on anyway, and just might as well, you know, get a head start. And I might enjoy it. I, have been, I played a bit of it though, anyway. I think it's fun to play, nonetheless. Um, my brother will probably be playing as well, so might as well get it. I just got it for the PSC because he has one, and he'll probably want to play it sometimes as well. Um, before I go, this is going to be. I have to make this quick now. I'm actually look, waiting on something else tomorrow, which will come tomorrow, and that is Super Street Fighter 4 for the 360 and the Super Street Fighter 4 Fight Stick. Um, I said on Twitter about it that. I wasn't sure about getting it, but I actually did though, so I cracked. Um, so I'm waiting on that tomorrow. So anyway guys, that's all for now. Take care and rock on.